Alright, so this is a demo of the Packet VR terminal emulator. Uh, once it loads up, the first thing I'll do is I'll hit the pause key on my keyboard. Uh, using my hand, I can point this cursor around in the world. Um, it will point onto other objects. Uh, that is used for positioning objects that are drawn into the scene. Um, but for now, we'll just launch a new terminal. Um, this is the main piece. By putting your hand on the terminal and turning your hand sideways, you can move it around in the world. You can launch more than one terminal at a time, which is handy if you're trying to... Oops, if this happens, type exit on one of the terminals and it'll be good. This is still a work in progress. So, if I position two of these terminals in the world, then I can edit in each one of them. So, if I do help up here, uh, you've already seen the recenter comment. Um, activating the terminal means that when you look at the terminal, it'll accept input when it's uh, the bright white. Um, this goes over some of the grabbing and moving of the terminals, and then here are the rest of the commands. So traditionally you'd use it to SSH into a machine. Um, you can also do raw TCP socket connections, uh, but in this case we'll go probably through the demo mode. Um, to close a specific terminal, then just type exit. To actually quit packet VR completely, type quit, and then hit exit. Um, in this case, we'll run the demo. And what the demo does is the demo actually logs you into a server that I've set up. It's a secure server. Uh, and by following the directions here, you can find a listing of a few uh, Python demos that I've built. And the first one to run is demo. And what this does is it drops a whole bunch of cubes into the world. Oh, they're over here. Right, so let's move the terminal back. And there's also a clear screen, uh, clear world script that you can do. Uh, hitting the up key and down key will just act like a normal terminal, so you can go back to your, uh, back through the history. If you hit demo.py, then you'll see all these cubes fall into the world. And if you do it again, and you have your hand there, then you can interact with the cubes. Or the terminal, if you're that way. Okay, so... Um, a few of the other ones that you can do are... Um, Star Wars. Star Wars is actually the ASCII version of Star Wars that'll play. It's actually kind of hard to quit. Uh, so don't start that unless that's the last thing you do. Uh, drawing is fun. Drawing will let you draw 10 squares, and they'll draw one a second wherever you point this red cube. So you can actually hold them up against the terminal if you're if you're careful about not moving the terminal around. Um, and so this is just a demo of what you can do. Uh, but uh, at some point, someone should be able to go into the Python scripts and be able to write their own Python scripts. You'll have to log into your own server to do that. I've disabled writing on the server to uh, to stop people from destroying the experience for other people. Uh, this is a full terminal, so you can actually look around on the machine. Um, can look through all the directories. Um, there's no up or down um, through the scroll history, so just like the bad old days, you have to pipe everything to less. But then you can go through and you can look at the um, objects on the machine. That's it. When you're uh, ready to leave, then you can just type exit, and you'll exit back to this uh, screen. And then if you want to close your terminal to play around with the world, then you can do that. Um, or you can type quit at a terminal and it'll drop you back to the desktop. That's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.